Hey there, y'all. Welcome on back to the Mountain Man. Today, I've got some breaking news for you about the upcoming season of Mountain Monsters. So, why don't y'all sit back, relax, and enjoy? Because this is some pretty groundbreaking news right here, if it all turns out to be true. <laughs> so, anyways, remember last week I revealed two new episodes from the upcoming season of Mountain Monsters. Well, turns out those weren't 100% true, because after I made that video... Someone started editing them like crazy, and some of the descriptions were absolute nuts. They didn't even make sense. The wording was off, and, I, you know, it, it just obviously wasn't real in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> um, that's the thing about Wikipedia, where these episode descriptions are appearing on. Um, that website, anyone with an account can go on and basically just edit it if they want to, uh, and change it up. They can add fake news, or they can add real news. So, I don't know. But these brand new five episode descriptions, I've been on for a few days now. I've waited a few days because, you know, I needed a break. Because these videos take a while to make. But um, also because I just wanted to wait them out and see if they get removed. But they haven't, and they've been on for about three days now. So there's five episodes to reveal about Season 9. The first two, pretty much the same. The same names and everything as last time. So obviously the first one is The Lair of the Devil. And they all say... Fall 2023 as a release date. So that actually makes a lot of sense. I could 100% see this next season. I mean, I'm not calling it season 9, by the way. Because I don't want to confuse people anymore. I know I call the next season season 9. Um, but really, when it does come on Discovery Plus and Max and even the Travel Channel, it will 100% be called season 7. So I think it's a good idea we all transition and try to, try to call this next season season 7. Because no matter how much we want to call it season 9, it is not going to be called that. Uh, and the whole reason, it's very confusing, but I'll, I'll tell you real quickly. Basically, in 2019, when the Travel Channel and Discovery, they're both the same company, really. Um, I think Tra Discovery owns Travel Channel. Well, anyways, when they purchased Mountain Monsters in 2019, they, for some reason, decided to combine the first two seasons of the show, so 2013 and 2014 seasons, making the first season now consisting of 20 episodes. And they also combined the 2015 season with the 2016 season, so which we knew them as uh, season 3 and season 4. And I forget how many episodes that made, but either way, obviously, very confusing. I don't know why they did that either. I think it's only because they wanted to make it seem like less seasons so that they could possibly make more in the future and not, I don't know, have such a high number of seasons. I don't really know. It doesn't really make sense to me. Um, obviously, they were meant to be separate seasons for a reason. <laughs> they were they took place in different years, for goodness sake. Um, but not anymore. They are combined now into one season. Season 1 and Season 2 are Season 1 now. Season 3 and Season 4 is now Season 2. So, very confusing, but that basically means the latest season of Animal Monsters, which we know as Season 8, would really be called Season 6, which makes the upcoming season Season 7. So, I think it's a good idea, even though on Wikipedia it still says Season 9, 2023, I think it's a really good idea we all just try to call it Season 7 because no matter if we like it or not, that is what it's going to be called when it does come out. I guarantee it. Anyways, starting off with Episode 1, The Lair of the Devil. We kind of already know what this one's about if you watched my last video because um, we already kind of read it. It's basically the same, but some of the spelling mistakes and the grammar mistakes are all gone now. So that's a good thing. It says the AIMS team heads out on the hunt for Bigfoot under the moonlight after watching their shocking Bigfoot events. Sounds much better than it did last time. <laughs> There's random periods in places they didn't belong. I just, it's, it was worded horribly. Horrible English grammar. It didn't even make sense. Then it says, following a massive roar that shook the hills of the Tigard Valley, the team soon realizes they are treading on demon territory when they found a huge cave under trapple, Trapper's <laughs> oil drill site where the devil at. So uh, there's still some spelling mistakes. There should be an is there. The devil is at. I feel like found should be fine, but whatever. There's a few spelling mistakes, so it just makes me believe maybe it's not real. But oh well, we're going to treat it like it's real, because, well, we want it to be real, hopefully. <laughs> it's very good episode descriptions, in my opinion. Anyways, um, second episode, Strongest Ground Shaking. Once again, same as last time. By the campfire, Jeff makes the members realize they had been missing a huge clue from the Trapper's Journal. So, I don't know why there's a the there, but whatever. The Ames team then setting up the hunt for the beast that Trapper woke up. Okay, well, that's not the best grammar right there, but oh well. <laughs> a terrifying discovery leads them to believe there was something more evil than any monster in the Tigard Valley. After finding a trail and a puddle of blood, the team came face to face with the strongest ground shaking ever when they heard a big rumbling deep in the hills. So, <laughs> 
I guess. I mean, that's a cool episode description. They um, finally kind of like, I guess, basically wrap up the whole Tiger Valley storyline. It's basically the it. The terrifying discovery leads them to believe there's something more evil than any monster in the Tiger Valley. So it's not a monster. It's not a Bigfoot. It's not the spear finger. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I feel like it's going to be something very logical. It's not going to be any kind of cryptid or anything. Most likely, whatever they find, it's going to be like rock slides or something, or I don't know, just something. Something. It's, it's got to be something that's not too groundbreaking because they wouldn't stop the hunt, right? Like it has to be something that you know causes them to wrap up this hunt because they wouldn't wrap up Chapper's hunt for nothing, you know. Like if it was a Bigfoot under that cave. They're not going to say, oh, well, he's under there, but oh, well, we're not going to catch him. Let's go back to Spirit Finger or whatever. <laughs> you know, I don't really buy that. So I'm thinking it's something, I don't know, within the realms of possibility. I don't think it's anything too hard to believe. <laughs> Probably is like a, I'm sure they, I mean, they find a massive cave, right? I think, did it say that? Uh, yeah. So they found a huge cave under Trapper's Oil Drill Site where the devil is at. So who's the devil? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, the Cherokee Devil? Oh boy. <laughs> Could he be what they're talking about when they say more terrifying than any monster? I mean, he is a monster, though, technically. It's still a... Well, I mean, he's a creature. I don't know. It's They kind of word it weirdly, but... I don't know. I'm under the impression it's probably something like... Something causing the ground shaking in the Tiger Valley, and it's something that's probably not, like, not a cryptid or anything by, by any means. But I don't know. Maybe it is. <laughs> Anyways, the next episode, this is where it gets good, because we... I haven't heard these episode descriptions yet, or maybe you have if you read this by yourself, but if you haven't, brand new, so listen here. Third episode of the upcoming season, Back to Deadly Quest. Ooh, I mean, whoever named these, if, if they're real or fake, I really like the names of these episodes. They do sound very good. So it says, after solving the mysteries of the Tiger Valley, the Ames team heads back to the Dark Forest to hunt for the Raven Mocker to get to the bottom of the Spear Finger. Just need a minute. I just need a minute because if that's real, by God, this is gonna be <laughs> this is this is unbelievable. They're really going back to the spirit thing. That's why I think it's probably fake. But I don't know. It's worded really good, so I don't know. Let's keep reading. The team builds their biggest trap to date to contain this creature, but they know that Raven Mogger is not the only mysterious creature lurking in the dark or the dangerous dark forest. Wow. <laughs> I mean. If that turns out to be real, by God, we're in for a treat for this next season. Um, but first, you got to remember, if they go back to this whole Raven Walker hunt, then they go back to the Dark Forest, um, the Spearfinger hunt, if they start hunting all these monsters again in the Dark Forest, you know who comes into play? The Rogue Team, by God. And we all know they had a box for them at the end of season well, I guess season four, <laughs> but I'd like to call it season six, but y'all know how that happens. Um, anyways, they had a box for them, and we never found out what was in that box. So, by God, are they going to find out? I don't know. Let's see the next episode, which is the fourth episode, Rogue Team Revealed. My goodness, if the Rogue Team is really coming back, I am going to be one hell of a happy camper. I bet you that. <laughs> anyways, this one says, while on the hunt in the dark forest, Huckleberry and Jeff realize the key to their quest is the Three Rings of the North. <laughs> After another shocking secret, the team leader of the Rogue Team is revealed. By God, if the... <laughs> I mean, this just sounds like, like this is what I would dream for this season to be about. It's actually what I said I wanted the season to be about. I said the first two, or the first few episodes, I said I wish it was about the Tiger Valley. They'd wrap that storyline up, and then they'd go back to the Rogue Team, and the Spear Finger, and all that from Season 4, which they, they just completely neglected back then in 2019. Uh, that's where they ended up, when, you know, when Trapper died and everything. Um, that is exactly what I said I wanted the season to be about, so I don't know if they're listening to me, but clearly not, because I only said that a few months ago, and, I mean, it takes a while to film and then edit the show, so they likely filmed this, like, last year, probably last summer, last fall, I don't even know. Um, but... By God, <laughs> this is shaping out to be a great season, possibly the best season ever, because it just has so much going in it, and it's just like, the return, the return, like some, so many things, the Dark Forest, the Raven Mocker, the, the uh, Rogue Team, <laughs> the Three Rings of the North, like, by God. Alright, here's the last episode, though, 
called the Queen of the Monsters. Y'all already know who the Queen of the Monsters is, 100%. It's got to be Spearfinger, I would assume. Yeah, it must be. Anyway, let's, let's read. <laughs> the Ames team traveled to Macon County, North Carolina, to track down the most feared female monster of the Cherokee folklore, known as the Spearfinger. Their frantic hunt leads them to a legendary structure, the Tree Rock. By God, I, I mean, a new location now, the Tree Rock. What in the hell is that? <laughs> well, also, well, I mean, it, it can't be the same tree, obviously. No, I, I don't know. I was thinking, like, the, for the dog colors from the Tiger Valley, but we're not in the Tiger Valley anymore in this part of the season. So, I don't know. I don't know what the Tree Rock could be. It sounds like a brand new location to me. It doesn't ring any bells. So any past locations same team has been to. Kind of reminds me of the Rock Overhang, but I'm sure it's not. Uh, but Macon County, North Carolina, that's where the Dark Forest is at, by God. Wow. This is just an amazing season. I just need some time to think about this. because, <laughs> I mean, if this is true, and it has been on here for a few days now, so somebody, whoever was taking down the other episodes descriptions, like all the all those episode descriptions that were clearly fake, they were horribly worded, and they were just bad. They didn't even make sense. <laughs> um... Well, whoever's taking those down, they're not taking these ones down, and there's a reason, I think. I think there really is a reason. I think it's because possibly they are 100% real. I mean, what else is the season going to be about? Are they really going to spend another season completely in the Tiger Valley? Like, I don't really think so, to be honest. I really don't. I did I did think that when I first read the first two, because it you know makes it seem like that. Honestly, it's hard to believe they wrap it up in two episodes, but then again, they've already spent two full seasons there. So, how much more is there? To do in the Tiger Valley, like it's a fun storyline, everything I do love it. Um, there's there's only so much you can do there, you know. I think this is the perfect time to go back to Spirit Fair because that's what everybody wants. I get so many comments on my videos, and pretty much everyone when they're talking about season nine or season seven, I guess, um, they're always talking about bringing the Spear Finger back, bringing the Dark Forest back. And most importantly, bringing the Rogue team back. That's what I really want. Because they just, they pose such a big threat to the Ames team in a more realistic kind of way. Because they're actually real people. Like the monsters they hunt, they might be real. But by God, we don't often see them, you know. So it's more like a, a threat that we feel, but we can't really see. But the Rogue team, they are 100% there. And they're in the woods with them. And they're, they, you know, they're able to do bad things to the Ames team. And I, I know it's, it's sad to watch sometimes. Like when they shove a skull up Jeff's nose. But it really does pose a big threat, and it makes the show feel almost more real in a way, uh, but just more scary. And I just, I just really like the Rogue team when they're in it. And it'll be interesting to know, like, what what have they been doing the last four years? <laughs> or, I, I would assume, like, this season was probably filmed, like I said, if it's going to take place during the summer and fall type of time. Because that's when the season, um, that's when the last season uh, took place, in the summertime, clearly. Which, it must have been filmed in the summer of 2021, which means this season um, would probably have been filmed in the summer and fall of 2021. So, quite a while ago. So, who knows? They might have already filmed the season after this, too. Who knows? <laughs> but, wow. <laughs> uh, I'd love that. This would be so so nice and consistent to go back to the Spirit Finger Hunt. It would just make the show feel better, like, more real. It would just, it would just clear up a lot of things for us fans. We want to know what was in that box. These episode descriptions don't say anything about that, which I do find hard to believe. Because I feel like you're going back to that whole spear finger hunt. That's the first thing you do, is you find out what was in that box. And they already know. They've known for years. <laughs> so it clearly couldn't have been anything too groundbreaking to the point where, you know, they had to continue the hunt. Because they didn't. <laughs> you know, they went after Trapper, this whole hunt in the Tiger Valley. So clearly, I don't think it was as important as they made it seem at the end of the episode. In that last season 4 episode, or season 6, whatever you want to call it. Anyways, fall 2023, y'all. It's coming, and that is when this new season is coming as well. By God, I am so excited now after reading these descriptions. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below what y'all think. Are these real? Are these fake? I don't know. I mean, they kind of seem real to me. I hope they're real. Because I don't know if I can do a whole another season of the Tiger Valley like I would. But I just feel like it's, it's getting old at this point. I want to see season... Uh, you know, I want to see the Spearfinger back and Rogue Team back, and, you know, I think we all do. I know we all do, so I hope it's coming. Anyways, thank you all for watching this video. Update for you on Season 9, or Season 6, I'm going to, or Season 7, sorry. I'm going to have such a hard time adjusting to calling this next season Season 7, um, <laughs> but you guys don't have to if you don't want to, but I think I should, 
because that is what it's ultimately going to be called when it, whenever it does come on Discovery Plus and Max. And if it comes on the Travel Channel, which I don't know if it will, I think it will because last season did. Um, yeah, and most likely be called Season 7 as well. But that's just the way it is. That's how Discovery likes to call it. So I guess we'll have to get used to calling it that as well. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. It's only a number. You know, it doesn't really affect how the season uh, works or anything like that. But I don't know. It's just hard to get used to. But anyways, thank you all for watching. And I'll see y'all next time. Hopefully, no more updates on this next season. Oh, I guess the last, we need the, the last five episodes or so revealed. How many there ends up being, I don't know, maybe eight or ten, twelve, who knows? <laughs> I hope twelve, that'd be cool. Um, I'll keep y'all posted, though, on this next season. And so anyways, thanks for watching again. And I'll see y'all next time on The Mountain Man. Hoorah! We gonna catch the monsters.